How do you like my card stand today? I'm going to look at some Gaudi Indian gum. These came in a series of 48, 96, 192, and 216. If I remember right, I don't think there was one in between. Versus Colonel Bowie. Thirty-three or thirty-four, and then I think some of them came out in forty-eight. Fighting Texas Plainsman and re Seeker of Lost Mind. Oh, I gotta get the flashlight. I need some better light. Oh, where can I set it? Fighting Texas Plainsman and Seeker of Lost Mines and Buried Spanish Treasures on the San Saba. The, pic the picture in his hand shows the celebrated Bowie knife. The knife was known in the early days as the Arkansas Toothpick. Bowie invented this knife with its pro protecting hand shield after seriously cutting his hand while killing an Indian with an or ordinary butcher knife. Died a hero of the Battle of the Alamo in 1836. This is one in a series of 96 cards. More cards illustrating romantic America to follow. Indian Gum, the world's greatest penny value. Gowdy Gum Company, Boston. Colonel Bowie. I'm going to look at five cards of this, and if anybody likes it, I'll go through the rest of them that I have. General Custer. I know it says autographed, unfortunately it's not. Not even possible, but if it was, it would be a pretty expensive card. You see it there? As a mere youth, not long out of West Point, Custer become, became the envy of older officers of the Union Army upon becoming Brigadier General and being... Known as the Boy General. It, some of these are hard to read. It's worn out. In the Battle of Little Bighorn River, I don't think that's exactly what it says, but it's close enough. Custer and his entire troop were killed in an attempt to capture the cold-blooded, murderous Sitting Bull. But there was no peace and death for his enemies. Succe Is that supposed to be succeeded? Proceed proceeded to cut out the heart which knew no fear. Like I said, some of these are pretty worn. Wow, Bill. Single-handed in the face of tremendous opposition, he defeated a gang of eight horse thieves at Rock Creek Station, Kansas. And ever afterward, James Butler Hickok was known as Wild Bill, lured into ambush by that cold-blooded scalping redskin Conquering Bear, the Sioux Chief, Wild Bill, in a duel of knives, avenged the whites by killing the Indian brave. He was killed himself by a gambler at Deadwood, Colorado, in 1876. I always thought it was in South Dakota. Buffalo Bill. I don't know if you can make any of that out. A Pony Express rider at the age of 14 and 
scout for the Kansas Cavalry at the age of 17 during their expeditions against the Kiowas. Kiowas and the Comanches, later Buffalo Hunter for the railroad. Can't make out that word. Gangs having the steel rail ugh, into the west. He was famed for being a dead shot with eyesight superior to that of the average man with a field glass. Later he formed a circus illustrative of the wild days of our glorious west. Buffalo Bill. I think it's Ginner that has a car to him in 1888. I know they have Annie Oakley. I'm sure you've heard of those two. One second, I need to get a drink of water. And back, last one for this video, Billy the Kid. Notice how it has the Gaudi. Logo, symbol, whatever. Billy the Kid, one of the youngest desperate characters that roamed the West in the wild days before law and order was a certainty. A real two-gun Western man, once while running from a posse he came upon two prairie wagons going westward and being very hungry asked for something to eat. The men in the wagons were unfriendly, but the women and the little children gave him something to eat. Billy the Kid, noticing that the Apaches were on the warpath, stayed with the wagons at his great risk, and successfully defended them against the Indians' attack. This is one in a series of 216 cards, more cards illustrating romantic America to follow. Indian Gum, the world's greatest penny value, Gowdy Gum Company, Boston. <clears throat> that was in pretty good shape. Get in the picture. No. Okay. Yeah. Screenshot, come on. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.